Hello, monkeys. It's Jeremy. Uh, I'm coming, you know, coming back at you. Uh, you know me. I like to provide very solid and continuous content to the people that, you know, whatever. And uh, today uh, we're doing a shirtless review. We're reviewing band-aids. So, you know, I like the budget and stuff, you know. It's very... So I bring you here to my uh, humble abode full of, like... You know, all the essentials, right? Where I live, I have everything that I could ever need. Yeah, so... We're gonna review this. This is a Band-Aid. Alright, here I give you... A Band-Aid. Hello, Band-Aid. How are you today? Good. Alright, so... If I can get this, because this is the first one of these I've actually... Not Band-Aids, obviously, but... First one of these stupid reviews I've ever done, so... Um, yes, uh, so let's review it. Let's analyze... Um, this, this band-aid, um, yeah. so it comes in a white piece of paper, actually two pieces of paper stuck together, right, you know, you, uh, you cut your finger or something, you know, you have like a, a you know, like, you know, not profuse bleeding, but you have, you have bleeding, and you go, like, I'm gonna go get a band-aid, right, so you go to get a band-aid, and this is what you'll find often, very, very often. It's got like a warning and whatever on it. I am not sponsored by Band-Aids. Um, just, just, just so you know, that'd be cool. Because I would never bleed. So he says, says Band-Aid there in, in red text. Apparently this particular Band-Aid is, is sterile. Which is unfortunate. Um, but when you want to open the band-aid, this is the interesting part. You have a band-aid and you're like, how the hell am I going to open this thing? I wonder if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> I'm holding my camera in case it wasn't obvious. So it's basically, you got a little flap here, right? And then you like push down on the flap. Maybe like, you know, I'm going to get this thing up. Apparently, imagine you have a, like, I'll imagine I have a cut on my other finger and it's like being bleedy or something. So I gotta be like, you know, I gotta record this video. So essentially, you see, you pull this part, and on the inside is the band-aid, right? And you see, you pull it apart. There you just go. There you go. And uh, now let's look at this band-aid, because it's kind of interesting, right? Now a band-aid has these two little flaps on the side, right? And uh, it uh, looks like that. Now the idea is that they want to, I'm guessing, that they want to make it skin colored, so it's pretty accurate. And it's a little more tan than I am. It kind of looks like an emery board. So, so let's say I had a cut on my nose. If I had a cut on my nose, let's just say like right here, you would take the band-aid, right? And this is the interesting part. If the, it's usually helpful just, you know, to pull one of the flaps off, you know, whoop, there you go. And now you have a little thing you can write a fortune cookie or something on. I don't know, just go like... Put one end on, and then just as you're like dragging it over, if it stays, and it's gotta stay, otherwise it's not a good band-aid. At least that's what I've always believed. Obviously, if you're bleeding, if you're bleeding profusely, it might be helpful to not be recording your face. <laughs> that's how you do it. Yeah, and I guess on a scale of one to ten, one being like it's not a band-aid, and ten being this is definitely a band-aid. Um. I guess I'd rate it a 10. I think that particular band-aid is, um, is, a, is a good band-aid. I would give it a 10. Today's video is in 2D.